In this video, I want to show you the software update of Vitos. Today, I want to show you how easy it is to carry out a software update on a ETOS system. By the way, this is the same routine that you need to follow if you want to update a Tapcon or a similar device from Rheinhausen. So all we need is our laptop computer, standard Ethernet cable, and for sure the update file. I want to show you this with the help of a USB flash drive. You can select for the update computer or flash drive. So please come with me. So our starting point, as usual, is the home screen of ETOS. So I'm connected here. So let's move to settings and then nearly all the way down to the import screen. Now, the import screen gives us the option of PC or USB import. So as I said, I want to use the USB and I'm selecting my file here. So if I click the file, it just immediately starts with the process. First step is it actually checks if this software update is valid for the unit. Um, simple check is the serial number of the device you are currently connected and well, the device serial number in the software update. Because with the software update, we can also add functions or newer software versions. Okay, now we're in the selection screen. Um, in our case, we want the system image so this is our software update that we want to install so let's click on system image here now the unit asks us if we have historic data that we want to include or um, programs in the logic editor of ethos so if none of that is the case we can simply proceed by not clicking any of it now this is a rather important screen here as well the retain settings screen. So this one asks you which settings you want to keep on the device. So mainly user settings and device settings. So if you have a pre-configured unit, which is already in service, you definitely want to keep the user settings. If the update, for example, includes changes to the onload tap changer, to the tap position range or things like that, you need to uncheck the device settings box. In my case, uh, I definitely want to keep the user settings and um, well, the switch dot, the maintenance dot, etc. I want to replace with the update. So let's press next. Now the um, routine continues. So the system checks for the measured value memory. If there are any uh, problems, any inconsistencies that need to be uh, sorted out. In that case, it's going to ask ask us for an export of these files now not the case we have the information that with the software update it will carry out a reboot okay so let's press on confirm and then we can monitor the actual software update something very important at this point is please make sure to keep up the power supply for ethos during the software update because with the software update, you might be or we were rewriting parts of the software code. So if you're, the power is cut in the wrong case, this could have bad uh, effect on the function of ethos. So please take extra caution to keep the power supplied during the process. Now the update has taken place to implement all the user settings from the old system we need to carry out a second reboot well that's the thing we need to do so let's press ok and another reboot is initiated at this point now one more thing i want to tell you if you have to modify hardware due to the software update because you also add further hardware further functions to ethos um, you can for sure carry out the whole update in the first place and when the unit is rebooted, it's going to bring up a so-called import-export screen where only the import and export function is visible. And at this point, it's safe to disconnect the power supply to ETOS, make the necessary hardware modification, and then reconnect the power. And afterwards, the unit's going to come up to normal operating state.
The other option is do it vice versa. So first modify the hardware and then implement uh, the new software. Both of that works. Um, this version right here is the one I personally prefer um, for the update. Now we can see that the screen has changed. We can go to information, system, software, and we can verify here in the second lane, the application version has changed. And this is the new software that we have implemented. So that's all we need to do for the software update. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.